This is Renegade Rousey, and you are watching the Left Hook Boxing Show, and what a devastating left hook it was by Nonito Denaire last night when he faced off with Fernando Montiel. It looked like it was going to be a great fight, and it was for just a couple of rounds, and I mean, you had to watch this thing and ultra slow motion to get an appreciation for the devastation of this punch. Montiel comes in with a right and then Donaire comes in with a counter left hook that hits him right upside the temple and I mean when you watch that thing in ultra slow motion you can see the bones in Montiel's face shifting around and he hits the deck and man it reminded me of like when you have a power surge on your computer and that thing goes out and it's trying its best to get back up Montiel's eyes were bulging out of his head you could tell he's like hey what happened to me but you gotta give the man credit that got up from that punch got up and then it just took a few combinations more from Donaire and the referee comes in and stops that thing and probably a good thing that he did because I don't think anything good from Montiel was going to happen after that point fight over and whoo a star is born not that he wasn't already a star but I tell you this was a performance by Nonito Donaire and it puts him like Max Kellerman talked about puts him up there you know he's already one of the top pound for pound fighters but he puts him up this performance puts him up there in the upper echelon of boxers of course you have Manny Pacquiao Floyd, Floyd Mayweather Sergio Martinez and now Nonito Donaire right up there with the fighters that are just in another league like Bum Phillips used to say about Earl Campbell the great running back uh, Bum Phillips coached the Houston Oilers and he used to say Earl Campbell may not be in a class by himself but whatever class he is in it does not take long to take roll I mean these guys that I mentioned that Kellerman mentioned last night are the top in the sport and of course we want to see him fight the only thing I think for Donaire that's going to be a problem is I don't think many people are going to want to fight him and you know it's different with Pacquiao because the thing with Pacquiao if you go into the ring with Pacquiao it's a good chance that you're going to get your face rearranged or you're going to taste the canvas but the good thing about it is you walk out with a hefty paycheck so you can kind of let the bruises heal but you get a lot of money for doing it it's kind of like in the day when Mike Tyson I used to hear all kinds of people when Mike Tyson was just knocking people out like crazy well hey I would get in the ring with him for 15 million I used to hear a lot of people say that and and that's the kind of thing with Pacquiao your chances of winning are slim and your chances of getting hurt are very great but you walk out with that big payday the thing with Donaire it's not really like that if you fight Donaire, you're not necessarily at this stage going to get a great payday, but the chances of you getting hurt and having your career just, whoa, wiped out are very great. So we'll see how this plays out. I hope he gets the fight, the good fights coming up, but I think he's going to have to move up and wait to get them. But we'll see how it goes. Just a couple more comments. There's not a whole lot to say about that fight. I mean, it was it was very short, and you can just sum it up with that one boom, devastating punch. But pre-fight, when they get in the ring, they're in the ring. This one thing I have to observe about Donaire is, you know, he had his game face on. Now Montiel, he looked, when he came into the ring, to me, he looked very relaxed. He looked very confident, as well he should be. I mean, this guy's no chump. He's in the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters as well and has done a great job in his recent fights. So he looks, to me, very relaxed, very confident. But Donaire, on the other hand, 
just to me looks like a beast, looks like a tiger. And in the, I went back and looked on the internet and looked at some pictures of the the weigh-in. And you know when they do the face-off, I love to watch the pictures of the face-off. I love to look at the expressions on the fighters' faces. You know, oh Montiel's kind of mm, like this, but Donaire man is showing his teeth. Ah! He is a lion, man. He is a tiger, and he knows it. This guy knows he is something special. He knows he's good, and he walks in to that ring expecting, expecting to knock his opponent out, and you got to love that, and you got to love watching it. I know I did. As brief as it was, you know, we like, the battles, you know, the the go the long round and maybe a knockout towards the end. But there's got to be something said for the fighter that just ends it that quickly. And Donaire is making that a habit. And it's not against fighters that aren't any good. This is up against fighters that are at the top of their game in his weight class. And he is demolishing them. And this is, whoo, man, I'm telling you, I look forward to seeing him fight again. And, uh, man, it was, it was, it was just a tremendous performance. You know, I kind of, this thing, some people were making something about this thing with him, with his dad. And, you know, like, oh, that's going to really bring him down. But the thing is in boxing, man, that inner turmoil, turmoil that might be going on in somebody's life, a lot of times, that's not something that brings you down. It's something that when you get in the ring, you get to take out your frustrations on somebody else. So, because somebody has maybe some problems in their life, don't think it's going to hurt them in the ring. It might just help them. Now, the thing with Dad, I hope he gets that worked out. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate, but I think his dad needs to learn he's not a little kid anymore and treat him like a man, and hopefully they'll get that thing resolved. But great performance last night by Nonito Donaire. And, hey, I'm looking forward to, I can't say I'm looking forward to Pacquiao Mosley, but that's probably the next fight I'm going to talk about. But I think it's going to be a good fight for at least a few rounds. So we'll see how that goes. Until then, this is Renegade.